Happy Friday guys, welcome back to Bitcoin Daily for another video. In today's video, we got some juicy, juicy info guys. So we're going to be talking about this amazing run that we had this week. Look at all these green candles. We're going to talk about what, what the potential is for the over the weekend one and in the future. You, what's the next Bitcoin move, right? Then we're also talking about we're going to cover some trade setups for this weekend for this and for some of the, our favorite altcoins. Guys, make sure that you like and subscribe, guys. Hit that notification bell and drop a comment. Let us know if you've been in this bull run. And if you guys are interested in using the exchange that we use, uh, we use Bybit. So um, in the link and in the description, we have a link where you guys can just hit that and sign up through that and uh, you'll be able to get some rewards on your initial deposit up to around a hundred dollars or more. So without further ado, let's jump right in guys. Alrighty guys, so let's get right into the nitty gritty. My name is Jay and thank you for being on this Bitcoin daily video. So let's uh, let's look at some charts. Uh, but before we look at charts, let's actually speak about Friday's video. So on Friday, we gave you guys some trade setups. So um, the first trade setup that we told you for Bitcoin, uh, we told you guys that we we're buying breakouts above 19,300 and that ran all the way to 23,700. As you guys know, new all time highs. Um, if you held that entire position with 10x leverage, you would have made around 227% in profits, guys. Um, in Ethereum, uh, that we told you guys we were buying, uh, entering around 590, um, and that ran out, ran up till about 677 dollars, which would have got you guys, if you were using 5x leverage, about 70% profits. Bitcoin Cash, we told you guys we were buying breakouts above 280. Um, if you entered at 280 and wrote it up to 330, that would have been a, around 85% profits if you use 5x leverage. Um, Litecoin, if we told you guys we're buying entries, uh, breakout entries above $85, um, and that ran up to about 112, guys. So that would have been around 155% profits with 5x leverage. Um, XRP, we told you guys we were entering above 52 cents and that ran up to about 65 cents, which would have been 125% profits with 5X leverage. So um, we hit every single trade guys. Obviously the whole market just took off, but we gave you guys these trade setups on Monday um, and every single trade setup came through. So if you guys took any of those trades, let us know in the comments. Let us know that you took our trades and were able to make some profit. All right, so now for what everyone's been waiting for, let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so as you guys can see here, we had this huge breakout above uh, the, that uh, previous all-time high. Um, it was also a breakout out of this um, flat top ascending uh pattern that we're that we're watching here as you guys can see the white lines right there um so you guys can see that it, if pretty much followed uh that pattern it respected all these levels so when when it had got to the top here we had that touch it dropped down then we had another touch here it came down and it came back down um it almost broke out but it, it got that bounce on this other support and that's kind of uh what led to a new test of the all-time highs and the eventual breakout so um, once we broke out it was just off to the races as we told you guys um, we had entries above 20k uh, hopefully you guys listen because we've been saying entries above 20k for a while now and this is exactly why we knew it as soon as the price was breaking out of 20,000 it was going to the moon it was just going to, to new beyond all-time highs right so that's exactly what happened here guys we took off and we went all the way up to 23,837 guys so that is insane 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 so if we kind of take a you know zoom out a little bit here um and take a look at the bigger picture right now you see that we were in a basically in a in a ascending channel for the last two months or so maybe even beyond that right so we were bouncing around bouncing around bouncing around finally 
we got the breakout, right? So we got the breakout within the channel. So that was within that flat top. We, we broke out. We were still in the channel, but we broke out of the channel as well. So what's happening now is that we're pulling back right now. As you guys can see right here, we have the pullback and we're going to be testing this Fibonacci retracement level, which is at 23.6%. And we're also testing the top of that channel, which is now a support, right? So at 23.6 Fibonacci level is actually that, that 22,300 level where we've been bouncing. So you see, we touched it there, we touched it there. So we touched it twice already in the four hour time frame. So we need this 23.6 Fibonacci level to hold, right? If it doesn't hold, we might break down and if we break down that first level that we're looking at is at around that 21,500 level this is also where this fibonacci retracement level is um, as you guys can see here let me draw so you guys can see better what i'm talking about right so if if this is the the 23.6 if we break this right here right if we fall below that then we're going to come down here right so this is at 38.2 percent fibonacci level if we break that then the next levels that we're looking at is right here the 0.5 percent retracement level but the bigger level is this one right here which i have highlighted which is a 61.8 percent level so that is that would be if we had a pullback i believe that we would be returning back down to that level Right. So if we if we break this right here, if that's broken, if this is broken, we have a lot of support here. But if that's broken, I think that we may retrace all the way back down here to retest the 20,000. Right. So we're going to retest this as um, and basically confirm it as support before going back up. That's currently what I'm looking at right now. As you guys can see, we're at the top of this channel right now so i'm not currently looking to take to really enter any trades here right that's that that 23 23,000 level right now i'm not i'm not entering any trades there because as you guys can see we're currently in a bull flag downward channel and we're at the top of it so due to that i am not looking to enter there i would need basically a breakout above probably above this candle right here which is above which is twenty three thousand three hundred. so that would be the breakout that i'd be looking for to enter back up and then obviously we're gonna we're gonna be testing the, the all-time highs which is around that 23,750 to 23,800. if we go down so that's one setup that we have there that we're looking at for uh, this weekend so if that doesn't happen and we continue down, then I'd be looking at a support entry down here, right? So this is that, that level I spoke to you guys about. That's what I'd be looking. Look at this confluence right here. So we have the Fibonacci retracement level there. Plus we have the top of this channel that we just spoke about. So that is a possible entry right there. I would like to see it bounce there and it, and then I would like to see, you know, it go back up. So if it came like this and it kind of went under a little bit and it shot back up, that's where I'd be buying. I'd be looking to buy that right there. So um, that's the next trade that we're looking for. Those are the two trades that we're looking for over this weekend. We have to see what happens with this. It's currently at the top of this channel. As you guys can see, when I was at the top before, you know, it got rejected, rejected, and then rejected on this top part here. We're, we're expecting this to kind of come down here and then try to bounce up again and then this is where it has to make a decision this point right here so it's either gonna break down or you know it's gonna go down or it's gonna go up um, at that point so that's where we're kind of waiting right now to see if something happens there because if it continues down then we want to look for new entries down here so this would be the, the next area to look for entries and if it continues below there, then we're, we're expecting it to drop at that point that back to the 20,000 to test it. And then we expect it to shoot up on, on that shot back up is where we would expect to break this all time, the, the, the new all time high. And our next level that we'd be looking at is probably 25K, right? And after 25K is probably 
30,000, right? So th those are the two levels, next levels that we're looking at once we break out of here, right? So that's kind of my targets right now, my, my longer term targets, not over the weekend targets, but my longer term targets, if we break back up, um, or even if we drop back down to test that 20,000 support, I expect, I expect it to go down and then to, to come back up and then possibly be able to test, uh, this here, this level here, the trade setups are again, if we break out of here, out of this bull flag, then I'm looking to buy above here. So that's where I want to buy. My target's going to be right here. Um, if we don't, and we go down first, I, I'd be looking to enter a support entry right here. Uh, if we break down below that, then I'm looking to enter down here, which is this Fibonacci level. Uh, if we break down below that, then I'm probably looking to enter this Fibonacci level down here, which is at $20,000. It all, it all, you know, kind of starts making sense once you put the numbers uh, together with it. That's currently the situation in Bitcoin, guys. That's what we're looking at. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. As you guys can see here, it has a very similar chart to Bitcoin. Um, as you see, it, it's in this ascending channel and it broke out of it, but then it got rejected. And when it got rejected, then it started, you know, coming back down. So it got rejected up here. We went as high as almost 680. And now we're, we're inside this bull flag descending channel, right? This is kind of what's expected. And then we expect from here, as you guys can see right there, a bounce back up to test this these new highs and then to possibly break above that so that's currently what we're watching in um in ethereum right now the the entry i'm looking for is definitely around this area which is a 61.8 percent fibonacci zone and it's that 620 dollars zone right so that was a big number before that we couldn't break out of and now that we finally got the break as you guys can see look at all these rejections here we got rejected quite a lot. Finally, we broke out right here and we might the same thing as Bitcoin. You know, we, we, we got this rejection right here. We might now form this bull flag, you know, and come all the way back down. We test this and confirm this as a support and then shoot back out. If there's a pullback like it's currently doing right now, that's kind of what I'm looking for and expecting uh, if the pullback continues. So the trade setups I'm, I'm watching for over the next few days or over the weekend, basically a test of this 620. I want to see a test of that Fibonacci level. If it tests it, then I am buying. Uh, I would definitely be buying there. If we have a breakout, then I'm also buying, right? So the breakout number is probably going to be above this Fibonacci level, which is 23, 23.6, which is around that 654. 654 range so you have to be careful because there's there's been a lot of fake outs there so because of that i'm trying to avoid all of these small little fake outs so i'll probably be setting my um buys up above 655 for ethereum so 65 655 is going to be my my entries and then the the second entry will be this fibonacci retracement uh level 61.8 which, which is something that i expect if we get rejected there test this go there then i expect to hit that and you know take off so that would be the other thing uh the other zone i'm looking for for an entry 620 right so that's pretty much it that's that's currently what we're looking at there that's it for today guys we only went over bitcoin and ethereum but we just really wanted to be in depth with those two since those are the main ones that we're focusing on right now during these breakouts um but that's pretty much it guys please make sure to hit that follow hit that sub hit that like on this video which is going to help us continue to grow this channel and continue to put all this information out there for the community um so that's it guys i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend hopefully we make some profits this weekend like we did the last few weekends in a row um so yeah that's it let's make some uh profits guys peace love see you guys monday